friends, my name is Hamid. Today I'm working on Mille um, fridge. The customers complain is that they're getting water leakage inside of the fridge compartment. It's KF1911 model and I'll show you what needs to be done here. So here's the model and serial number on the unit. In order to order any parts, you need the model and serial number here. I didn't get a chance to open it, uh, uh, to make the video when I was opening the top apart. Uh, I decided to make the video here. Um, when the wat water is um, coming down from this area, the customer is complaining about water leakage here in this compartment or at the bottom. And on here you can see water leakage. That's not normal. Something needs to be done here. I op opened all the paneling apart here and you can see the panels are all over the places here. Um, I got to the heater area, which is right here. This is the uh, drain heater, goes there. And then I also have a defrost heater. The defrost heater goes um, at the back corner. Oops. In that back corner, the wires are this one. So this uh, black connector right here is the, the defrost heater, which goes into the evaporator. And then on the side of that, the blue connector uh, goes uh, right here on the drain heater, uh, which is these two wires. See this, this wire? goes on the corner and into the evaporator uh, has black connection two wires and then the two blue wires comes here go, comes right here straight and then from here it goes to the this uh, heater these are the two things we want to check first uh, to see what's causing the water leakage uh, the water leakage um, in my case was uh, you see the this uh, aluminum tape here at the bottom of the heater i had a little bit of a small hole and calcium discoloration calcium will up here and another spot was right here and i had a small and i had a small hole here i had to repatch it with aluminum tape that i have here we use some of this i repatched it um so that was one of the repairs i did today and the second part was that I had to uh, go through diagnostic, uh, test the components. The component tests are, uh, there's two of them. One, this um, drain heater, the another one is of course the defrost heater. Uh, I had to confirm to make sure I'm getting power. You can uh, check these for ohms and resistance, but uh, properly to confirm it, if it's working or not, you have to go through diagnostic. And I'll show you how to go on diagnostic here. Um, I have the unit off. There's a small button right here. I had to tell the customer to turn off the complete uh, uh, fridge for 24 hours before I come here because I knew that when I go in a customer house, I have to open the unit apart um, to see where the leak is coming from. If the unit is not defrosted and I get to the customer house, it's going to take me hours to defrost it um, and then open all the components uh, paneling apart and do my testing so it's gonna take a long day to do that but customer was nice enough to turn off the unit for 24 hours and then i got here it was easy for me to take all the panelings off it's a little bit tricky if you're new doing this you need to take a lot of pictures but if you're a professional technician and you know what you're doing then you don't have to take pictures uh, just for your own safety i'll take pictures um in order to go on diagnostic on this unit, I will show you what needs to be done here. First of all, you turn on the unit. When the unit goes on, you press on this temperature probe button one time. All of these lights are coming on. Press on any of these. And then remember the arrow down and up. So you press on that. Hold your hand closer to it, but do not touch it. Press this probe and hold it. Everything goes blank and then put your hand here, press it one time and then release it. One, two, three. 
on the third time you press on this arrow, the S flashes. You're on diagnostic now. So I'll repeat this again, okay? Just to make sure you understand how the diagnostic is being done here. Turn it off. Until you see S. When you see S, you're on diagnostic already. I uh, keep pressing this up. Component testers U. U is all component tests. And then to confirm, press this probe again. You're N for component test. The number four, you keep pressing this, it takes you through the numbers. Number four is the defrost heater. Um, and then press this. The heater should come on in the next couple of seconds now. What you can do is uh, put your probes where the, the heater wires are. The blue. Okay, so the black connector is for the evaporator defrost heater. Of course, you will select the uh, multimeter to uh, voltage and then get your reading. 120 volts I'm getting. Number four was the defrost heater. Number six is the heater for the drain. The drain heater is number six. Put your probes on the blue connector where it has two white wires and on some units uh, you may want to press the you may want to press the uh, door switch give it some time By pressing the door switch, which is located right here, you see the, the door closes right from here and it has a magnet sits there. If you don't get any reading, uh, hold the magnet right here. The light went off. And now you will check for voltage. I'm getting 120 volts. Uh, my defrost heater is coming on and one other important uh, note here when you are going through diagnostic because when you take all of these panels off this temperature sensor is located right here you may want to pull it out here maybe cut this uh, aluminum tape bring it back disconnected here because uh, i mean connected here if you don't connect it right here uh, the moment you go on diagnostic is gonna fault out you may get a f01 error code so let's try this i'll disconnect it The sensor is out. Okay. I did not get any fault code, but usually you will have an error code, so uh, it's important uh, to connect the sensor right here. Now everything is like an original fridge, you did not disconnect anything. So uh, again, let's talk about the leakage here. My drain heater is good. The defrost 
heating element is also good um, the reason the drain heater is good is because when I run it for a couple of seconds I put my hand here I could feel the heat and at, at the same time my defrost heater is good because the customer does not complain about the the frost build up here if, or the temperature problem if the customer has temperature problem inside of the unit then uh, of course it has something to do with the defrost um, cycle if the defrost is not working you will have a lot of frost build up there uh, or the customer will um, complain about the temperature con uh, temperature fluctuation or um, uh, frost around the paneling area the cu this customer did not have any of issues like that uh, the water leakage was coming possibly from the hose where I patch it and when you get water leakage from there if this happens over time um, I'll show you another uh, problem here this is their foam is super heavy um, because I was getting lots of water leakage look at the water here see this is their foam is not very normal this possibly needs to be replaced and feel, look at this water look at this here water so this is not good For now, to fix this issue, I patched the bottom of the drain heater. <coughs> that was the first thing I had to stop the water from coming from the bottom of that container, stair foam container. And then uh, after patching, it should take care of the problem. So I'm in a stage right now that I will tell my customer that everything seems okay. She's gonna keep eye on it. Uh, to get rid of all of this um, water from here, uh, I advise her to add a large fan uh, so it can evaporate all the water from the inside of the fridge. She's going to run a fan here for the next um, couple of days and that should take care of the problem. If she comes back again, I'm going to replace the stair foam uh, itself which is inside where the drain heater hooks into it. Uh, the drain or the heater itself in the stair foam. These should take care of the problem and I will hope for the best. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share it with others. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook, it's called Hamid Appliances Repair. Um, I have 10% or less um, percent of battery on my phone, otherwise I was gonna make a full video to put all of these panels back, back together. Hopefully I'll make a next video on a different customer's house on a different unit. Thank you so much.